Happy Valentine's Day! If I could hug you through the camera, I would probably strangle you. No, that's too violent. I am the Shadow One, and I'm back with an update. I'm drinking a racetrack icy. Best way to celebrate Valentine's Day. When you're alone. Little Izzy girl is here. Let's see if we can get her into the shop. This is Izzy. Izzy's camera shot. Izzy, I love you. Okay, I gotta put you down. Yeah, no. Haven't done something in a while because I've just been kind of lazy and working constantly. Because now all the good movies are starting to come out and I just saw Lego Batman today. Kind of perfect to see that on Valentine's Day because it's all about family. It's been busy. It's been tough. Trying to film a lot of videos at the same time as working on two jobs internally, trying to go back to school. But honestly, I like to work a lot and make money. And I also like to make movies. And it's hard to do both. But I am currently working on Bionicle Birth of Bloodlust. Right now, I'm trying to figure out a way to actually make the film even better than it was before which is doing an original score, and I'm actually tapping someone. Uh, his name is Nuva Boy, and hopefully we can actually, you know, discuss things in, you know, in person instead of just over typing, because I hate to describe music, like, choices, like, oh, it's, I want music that's dark and deep. Like, I can't, I can't, it's hard to, you know, explain what you want in just words. You know, you need to actually hear it, or I need to hear examples of what, of what other people can, have done. It's coming along slowly. My camera's not uh, working as much as I like to do. It's even with an external light source and turning off the flash on the camera, it's still harder to do it. And the stop motion is still a little shaky, but it's gonna get be it's getting better over time. I just need to keep shooting more and more. Otherwise, the movie's gonna be coming along nicely. I'm hoping to release it. It's not, it's not going to come out this month. I hope to release it at the end of March. And hopefully by then I'll be back to shooting Salvation 6. And then hopefully then to finish the film. Salvation 6 is actually about 85% done. Shooting all the images. Um, and then about 40% is actually, you know, all the stop motion is put together. All that needs is like um, sound effects and voices and pretty much everything. Visual effects to make it all come together. And I know you guys have been waiting so patiently for that film. It's been about, oh god, I can't. I started filming it in uh, July 31st, 2012. It has now been five years in the making. It's in production hell. That's, that's no doubt about it. It's in production hell. And I was an idiot to start another film in the process, and that film, Bionicle Birth of Bloodlust, uh, which I thought would take me a few weeks to make, is now turned into another whole thing entirely. Um, that film, once that's all finished, uh, push it aside, then that film will hold you guys over until Salvation 6 comes out. And hopefully it'll be coming out this year. That is, I mean, it all depends on where I head uh, from here. Otherwise, that's pretty much all the updates I can give you guys on films right now. I'm working, I've written a ton of screenplays for other films. Honestly, I would like to just sell the rights to my screenplays and just have someone else do them. But there are certain characters in those uh, screenplays that are my mocks and my characters, so I can't really do anything about that. In fact, one of my screenplays deals with two characters that I really, really like. And actually, they've been with me at the table this entire time. I don't know why I've been waiting this entire time to show you guys. Ah, let's show them with a wide shot! Bah! As you can see, Vizon and Fenrak, Brutaka and Axon. One of my screenplays I wrote actually deals with Brutaka and Axon. And that is a film that I would like to, you know, sell the rights to if there's such a thing on, on YouTube. But it's a really good script that I wrote that deals with their encounters before they went on Boya Nui. Also, you might have noticed that they're, you know, back apart. Because I had Botar for a little while after making that Botar video, and then I was like, I was hoping to keep Botar together for quite a long time, and then make the Will of Mana Nui film, but now realizing that my uncle Birth of Bloodlust is going to be a while to finish, I thought I could sh finish Bloodlust, then go shoot Will of Mana Nui, then do Submission 6, and now I'm thinking, it just doesn't seem feasible at this point. So I took apart Botar and rebuilt these two guys, two of the, probably the best Bionicle characters and sets ever made, next to Bison and Fenrak, which is probably still my favorite Bionicle set ever, but now for Talcom might be that. Um, but these guys are just awesome. I mean, seeing them, seeing Brutaka is just, is just awesome. This guy is probably one of the coolest Bionicle characters ever made. And I just had to have them, you know, together again because it just seemed weird to have Botar 
uh, I don't know. And then just Visa and Venerac. I had to have the three best, three times from 2006 of the seriously the best sets. You know, of course, rebuild Visa and Cardis again, and then maybe go back to Botar. But otherwise, it's just just these three guys are just awesome to stare at every once in a while, and you know, eventually have some fun playing with because I am an adult, but I'm a child at heart. So that's really all updates I have for you guys right now. Uh, more videos will be coming out. I'll do some short skits and chatting with chums episodes. Uh, right now I'm just going to go back to shoot by Uncle Birth Wallace, get some sh shots done, and it's dark out so that makes it easier to shoot. And in the meantime guys, thank you for watching. Have a happy Valentine's Day and I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye bye! Is this thing on? Yeah.